Hey guys, this is APF at Q-Tech Radio. Like I said before in my previous video, I was going to make uh, another video on the tech specs of the Wii, and like everything that comes in and everything, so here you go. As you all know, this is the console itself, and here's a disc tray. Uh, when it's on, usually when you load the disc in, there's um, you can't really see it here, but the lights are blue, and also when the Wii is updating itself, so that's when the light turns on. And um, you just put the disc in, it's a slot loading drive, it has some motors, so this comes in, comes out. Um, you press the eject button right here, take it out. You have some other buttons on the Wii, you have the power button right here. It's orange when it's on standby, green when it's on. And the reset button, which comes, I think it's been on all the Nintendo consoles so far, I guess. Yep, the Wii stand right here. And the plastic thing, whatever. You can just pull it off, I guess. So I'm just going to pull it off, show you. Um, just got some horizontal feet right there. So you can lay the Wii on the ground like that. If you uh, don't prefer to have it vertical. Here's also some vertical feet, rubber feet. Um, the vent, serial key, I don't care. You can't really see it, so whatever. And here's the back of the Wii. Power slot. Just plug in the power supply. Um, sensor bar slot. It's red. So, and also the what is it? Uh, the tip of the cable on the sensor bar is also red. So you know, which, you know which is which. And AV slot right there. It also um, you come. It comes with the regular AV cables. You know, composite, yellow. Uh, was a yellow, red, white for audio and video. Um, it also supports digital. Also, so you could buy the regular component cables separately. I think it's like twenty nine ninety nine about. I guess another vent slot, two proprietary USB two point ports right here. Um, I think with the recent update, you could now attach USB keyboards to the Wii and use them. And I think this is also used for um, if you get the the modem adapter in case you don't want to use the Wii wirelessly. So that way you can connect it into that through cables if you want, but wireless, wireless is the way to go. And yeah, over here on the top, you have two flaps right here. So you could just open it, and then I think you could just, what is it, pull it off like that. Yep. It doesn't break off, you can put it back on again. So whatever. Um, GameCube ports right here for the GameCube controller. So yep. And over here on the second one, memory card slots for the GameCube. So every time you want to play GameCube games or connect the controllers, whatever, you just put them over here. Yeah, I'm not going to bother putting on the covers right now. So, yep. And um, some internal specs uses, um, what is that, for a Broadway processor. It's like around 800 megahertz about. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, wireless AG. Actually, not, sorry, not A. Wireless BG. So it supports wireless B and G. Most people use G, so I also use G. Um, yeah, I guess this is about it. And also, yeah, we have 512 megabytes of internal memory in here. Flash memory. So, yep. Uh, Wii stand. Nothing important about this. Just holds the Wii. Wiimote. Yep. Um, power button right there. D-pad right here. A button right there. You get your home button, um, plus and minus for volume or increasing the screen size. Um, yep, speaker. Speaker kind of sucks here, so I mean it's a good little add-on. Like I like it personally. Um, one, two buttons. I guess it's supposed to. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, four lights indicates um, which player you are. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and um, this is in a neoprene rubber encasing because Nintendo has been getting a lot of lawsuits of property damage. Example, TVs, lights being broken because people are stupid enough to fling the remote at it. So, yeah. In the back, the B button. And, um, yeah, this is your, what is it? Where you put the batteries there. <laughs> Um, takes alkaline, heavy duty, and also it takes on nickel MH. I believe Nintendo said you can't use nickel cadmium or lithium with these remotes. Um, 
due to I think specific voltage and current settings on the battery. Um, Bluetooth sensor on top over here. In the okay, it's lighting up. Yeah, you see. Um, in the Wii mode, um, there's a Bluetooth chip in there. Um, connects to the Wii via Bluetooth. Forgot to mention that at the beginning. Um, also has a few accelerometers in there. Um, just a senses motion up or down, left, right for the Wii mode. So, oh yeah, in the back, um, back here you have the slot to attach the nunchuck. Yep. Um, and also the wrist strap right here. So that's about it for the Wii mode. Nunchuck. Same as the Wii mode has accelerometers. No Bluetooth, however, since the Wii mode just sends out all the information. You got the analog stick right here. On the back, you have the C button and the Z button right here. So yeah, it's supposed to mimic those controls on the GameCube. Fits nice in your hand. Just move it up and down. Since it has accelerometers in there, so sensor bar. Um, each side, you you could see um, there is some black covering right here, just like the Wii mode over here. Um, that has the Bluetooth thing LED sensor right there. I believe there's four in each of them, so you don't need to know all that crap. You just know that it senses um, data from the Wii mode. And um, comes with a pretty flimsy cable, in my opinion, very thin. It's like it's even thinner than uh, the cable that's on the Xbox 360 headsets. So yeah, one day I don't know. I hope this doesn't break. Again, cable port, whatever, plugs back in the Wii. Uh, the Wii. Um, also comes with Wii Sports. Yeah, so here's the packaging. Disc. Um, manual. Yeah, who, who reads a fucking manual anyway? And yeah, this is about it. Uh, I didn't bother showing you the power supply and AV cable since this is nothing really good about those two, you know, to talk about. So, um, yeah, here we go. This is just all the tech specs on the Wii. You see whatever comes in the box, yeah. Alright, later guys.